So the most commonly used H5P objects in our projects would be fill in the blanks, drag and drop, and course presentation. Uh, you will be given uh, demos to use uh, in the workshops for all these but right now I'm going to start by demoing how to do a drag and drop object. So we start of course out by going to the website which is h5p.org uh, when I fire that up I come to the front page. Here of course you can find loads of uh, demo stuff, examples and downloads um, uh, a good presentation of all the different objects that you can uh, can you use. Uh, feel free to dive into that. But right now, I'm going to dive straight into making an actual object. So a drag and drop text would look something like this. So it has a text, and you can see the gray areas. The gray areas match one of these uh, words on the right side. So what you do is really, you drag and drop text into the boxes. Uh, and when you're finished, you build the sentences like this. When you're finished, you check them. And you get immediate feedback if they are uh, correct. So this is actually how it looks when a drag, uh, drag and drop is finished. So what we are doing now is making a drag and drop, a new one, to add value to this text, what is email. And how do we do that? Well, when you're at the front page, uh, if you haven't already made your account, this would uh, read create account. I'm already logged in, so I'm going to go to the other one, my account. When you go to my account, you have something called my content. And again, can see the list of the content that I have made. To start producing another object you create more account as you see here hit that and then you are in edit mode and here you got a title give this one the same as the original article and then you are supposed to choose between the different types of H5Ps. I'm going to go for drag and drop text and here this is really simple. You have the title on top, you have a task description, and then you are uh, supposed to make a text that uh, sort of focuses on something particular in the original um, text. So I'm going to go back here to the article, and I am going to just grab a hold of a bit of text. So I copy and paste this text that is now green, and bring it back to this text field here. So now I just paste it in my text and I choose some words. And how do I do that? Well, there is a there is an asterisk. This means this sign here. And you put that on every side. So on each side of the of the words or word that you want to exclaim. Um, and what happens is, let's just pick one more word. Um, let's take this real name. So now we've chosen three sets of words, and we have uh, put asterisks on either side of them. So immediately now, when I hit save, I will get the finished product. So in this case, I will drag email address and the at symbol and the real name. And voila, the first drag and drop object for this article is made.